Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to our midweek moment. On Wednesdays, we provide these little devotionals, and the schedule of scripture readings is down below. Hope you check that out and are staying in God's Word. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, today I'm wearing my hat that was my Israel uh, trip hat. Back in 2020, February, I had an incredible opportunity to tour the Holy Land. And so I had my adventure cap on and I had this book, Essential Israel, which I used quite a bit. But do you know what was the best part in terms of me knowing what I was doing and learning about the Holy Land? We had an incredible guide. Listen to these words of Psalm 48, which is on our schedule for today for the evening reading. Psalm 48 Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. I, I have to tell you, it's one of my treasures, uh, such an opportunity that I had in the Holy Land to walk around on Mount Zion, Jerusalem, and to walk a pretty good stretch of the walls around the city. I will never forget it. It was a moment to truly see this beautiful city where the presence of God has been so powerful through so many years. But again, getting back, listen to how this psalm ends. Our God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Friends, beyond a book and beyond just seeing with your eyes, do you have a guide in your life? On our trip, our guide helped me and us see so many things. We learned about the nation. We learned about history. We learned about locations and their meaning and symbolism far beyond what I could get out of a book. Today, on this Wednesday, I want to ask you, have you invited Jesus Christ into your life? And is his Holy Spirit guiding you? And that works as you read scripture, as you trust, as you turn over your life and its direction to Jesus for his call and purpose of love, as you listen to one another in Christian fellowship, getting insights, encouragements, challenges, convictions. That's how God guides us. And it's been a blessing in my life for so many years. My travel guide is my savior. And just as Psalm 48 says, he will be with me forever and ever. So at the beginning of this Wednesday and the middle of this week, live this day, live each day by listening for and following and learning from your guide, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. May the Lord's blessings be with you as you travel onward.